the program may be the initial for him, but the sustaining factor they have come from their personal dealings with God. After you live there, if you don't go and lock yourself with God for a long time, you will be I am not the prophet of doom, I'm coming to let you understand the necessity of how this works. You don't like my sound? Thank God I will soon drop the mic. My beloved friend will come and help you. But I want you to be able to really understand that I am challenged, I am troubled with the believers in our today's society. Everyone you admire, everyone you have ever admired, changed his life anyway. He was not made from a program. It is to that intent that you came to a program as usual, you will come back this year. Where is your secret place? Where is your chief Adam? Where is your dwelling place? The things that make men is not that they fall under their anointing. It's what no man see about them after they have left there. What you do outside of here is what we determine what we become. And if you do nothing, what you need here, even if you are the one. Prophet, I correct your dimension. But I want you to understand that the amount and the intensity of the deposit of God upon your life hide you the more. The more the Lord appears to you, the more dimension, the more power, the more glory you see, the more you will hide the more. Because what you need to do is to be able to energize yourself, exercise yourself, and grow in those possibilities. And that is why every impartation that God has upon you comes as a purpose, as a seed that requires any kind of environmental factor for them to grow. And if the environmental factors are not right, I assure you they will die, and you will look as though God dies. God is not a liar, God does not give us hope. But we lack what you ought to do as a farmer that needs to be able to ensure that when you plant a seed, you don't go and sleep. You must be able to observe. You must be able to not it. You must be able to ensure that you take care of it for you to be Stand and Time spent with God in eternity is what counts. Not time spent with God in time. And that is why when the glory of God and God will pass a little bit sometimes, you begin to cry, you begin to weep. Why? Because now you now see the limitation of yourself. And now is the time when you begin to do in that of God. The challenge is this. We go into the Shekinah presence and we come out again. We go again and we come out again. We are supposed to go there and remain. And that can only be possible when you return back to where you are coming from. Because in that place, I know there is not a price and a time tag. Don't go back and open the movie and begin to watch. Don't go back and find somebody to choose you. Go back and dwell with God. By the time you begin to do that, it will not take less than four years. Something will touch your lips. Something will touch your heart. Something will come upon you. And if everybody hates you, they can never succeed. You cannot fight people that God has helped. Men do not make men. God make men. And until God make a man, the ordination of men is a waste of time. Men have approved of you. Men have ordained you. Have God approved of you until the seal of God is upon your life. Everything you don't have to say is a lie. I say this to no apology. I have met bishops and archbishops against my men. And when I look at them, I know if a little baby that is born in society comes, she can kill them. I want you to understand that the advantage of power comes by the spirit and the supply. And if you want to do business in the spirit, you must give time. Anyone that can be possessed before you see, they love to isolate themselves. Why? Because spirit love intimacy, spirit love intercourse. How long have you intercourse with the Holy Ghost? Of course, there's a realm of power without the Holy Ghost, but that realm will bring you to your goodness. But if you want to be able to contact the power of God and to sustain yourself in the power of God, you must be able to understand the necessity for you to return back and dwell in God. How many of you prayed before you came here? If we take the sense of supposed to surprise you, that we are only mighty men here at the church, but by the time we go back, we are all liars, masturbators and fornicators, thieves and unlovers. Your secret life will determine your strength in the public. And if you don't have strength in the public, it's because your secret life is compromised. And God cannot take you beyond the mess, mess at least to save your life. But you cannot trust me in giving up business. Everyone that will made custodian and guidance of any truth of God is a man that has dwelt with God. And somehow the appearance and the revealing of God to him may not necessarily be for him to manifest a dimension, no, but to post certain possibilities of God. Because in time is a portion for everyone to manifest. But the challenge is that when that time comes, you may be lacking in strength. The Bible says you fail in the days of battles because your strength is small. Because that day will come. A day is going to come when whatever you know will be tested and tried. And in that day, you will surprise you that the general must say I have nothing to say to the congregation. It is in 
that day that they do for men like David the king. Because in that came when the whole army of Israel fail. In the days when Goliath began to go, Israel does not have an army. The whole strength of the army became nothing. One man came and said, I am more than an army. In the days when Samson lies, according to the scripture, Israel don't need an army. Why? Because one man that has dwelt with the Lord became an army. In the day when the Boha was excelling the strength of God, Israel did not eat him, he did not have an Mighty men among those people was like that. David was a mighty man. He was building men from the cave of that. But he took only a mighty man to build others mighty. And that is why it's very important for me to be able to also tell you right now that as good as a poor can be, it's like a place that they men. And sometimes it may not be a place where you can see this guy. I am taking an inventory, sir. Church has many kind of people. And that is why sometimes the world there don't believe in church. All the men that see the shops you call canals of today, we are once upon a time leaders in your wife. Yes. What is trying to let you understand that our church system has ostracized them from intercourse and encounter with God, and they isolate themselves and found a being that has no spirit and truth in itself. The Bible speaking said, Jesus Christ was speaking to the woman of Samaria. He said, Your attitude of lifestyle has been challenged. Why? Because you worship something. And whether she likes it or not, whether she doesn't understand worship, she thought she was worshiping the God of Abraham. But when Jesus Christ looked at her, he said, You have worshiped men all through your life. And the challenge of worshiping anything that is not God is that you will always claim the God. Many of you, the things that matter paramount to you now, is either your clothes, your car, or your shoe, or something. God has not been the number one priority. If you want to contact the power of God, you must make God your only and only person. Many years ago, you know, we came to Kabuka in 1910. I was everywhere. In that came, the Lord showed me five years of my life after campus. I went. That was why I shut down from everybody. I shut down and I went and I hide. Because I knew I had no reality. What I was happy was just a periphery of what the Lord is there to do with me. And he told me that after five days, I'll be back with our side. And the words of me will become like many people. Show me many people. And I was shocked and I was surprised. Many of you want to happen like that, it doesn't happen like that. It's a lie. You don't blow, you grow in this. And if you can't grow, you will blow and blow away. The, 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 see, the secret is not for you to blow. It's a lie. Because if God cannot announce you, if God cannot give you a voice that the nation can hear, it's because God cannot trust you. It's because you don't have a healthy secret life, a healthy secret place with him. And when God cannot prove of that, men may want to use you, but you must be able to understand that your devotion to God matters first. And it's this listening that every great man, the people that surround them, they can in themselves, but they understand what made them who they are, and they will never take like that to anything. I don't know if you have a with God. You want power. You want power. As long as the woman you can sort of press for that one and you have power. But the goal is not that power. Because many of you, why do you want power? So that when I do that, it's good for you. You don't need the Holy Ghost for that. Because if God cannot be able to ensure that He bones you, as a total surrender, even if you give it that to destroy you. This is the reason why we are trying to put out an thousand people in the body of Christ today. They got the things that God will sacrifice, but you don't understand the personal relationship with God. There are three realms with God, the realm of power. This realm of power comes by prayer. Any backup or any stupid person that pray can actually contact that power. And it's like it's that you can be so carnal and yet powerful. You can be so demonized and yet powerful. Why? Because the realm of the spirit has something to sacrifice. I have known men that have done many wars in yet the six or seven power. There's a realm of glory. This realm of glory does not just come just like that. The realm of glory is in joy. That is why many people can have power, but yet they can't have the manifested presence of the glory of the Lord. Anytime they come, they display something, you know that there's something in you, but the presence is contradicted. That's why the Bible says we should test our spirit. When men come, they must be able to discern the spirit and the glory that they got. If not, you will associate yourself with the happiness and you will not go. Because the common denominator and the common factor there is actually power. Well, anytime a man sustains the glory of God, it's a manifestation of the condensed nature of the power of God. But this realm of glory only comes to them that dwell. It's them that wait upon the Lord. 
is that you that spend the amount of the weeks as he could. You see, a time comes when the man begins to dwell and wait upon the Lord. What comes upon him is what we call an overshadowing. It's what we call epitaxo. It's an overshadowing of the power and the presence of God. It is a thing that better the reality of everything that may become. See, how can this thing be? You see, you're not worthy. Something will come upon you. Then another thing will overshadow you. Then you will cause it. Men that have power is good, but you must come to a point where you join into the glory of God. And when the glory of God comes, it's not for you to boast. No, it's come to judge you. It comes to humble you. Because at the beginning of glory, you begin to see how much more weak and better you are, how much alienated you are from the original temple of how God has made you. That was what Adam lost in the garden of Eden. Because everything still has power. This still has power. If I take this and I hit you, you know that it has power. But can this thing carry the glory of God? But eventually, no. It may carry a smell of it for a while, but God cannot have that now. It is that instant that men do not just want to carry God for a moment. No. We want to host God. To become a carrier of God. And anywhere we move to, God can be with there. I don't care how dark your business is. When I step the step has come. And because I know I have the passion of the glory of God, power will be given to me next time. It's a journey. You move from the altar to the inner to the holiest of holies. When Jesus Christ was actually at the Mount of Transfiguration, the Bible said a lot of things happened. This one came, this one came, but after war, a cloud came and overshadowed them. From then a voice was spoken. It will always be a kind of procession like that until you be able to understand the necessity for you to do it so that there can be an overshadowing. Because when that overshadowing happens, the strength of God begins to tabana to you. Then you come to a point where you experience a manifestation of what we call the Shekinah glory. When that glory comes upon your life by the constant partnership and your fellowship with God, the time comes when naturally, naturally, men can look upon you, hate you, they don't like you, but they don't even know why they hate you. There are many people in your life today, you know you don't like them, but you need them. I know you don't like them, but you need them. Why? There is something that is upon them. They may not really understand it, but because of their constant fellowship with God, that thing was evident in their life that it can attract people. Then it joined you to another thing we call an acast. A competitive power. It may not be a type of power, but it's an expression of the multifaceted dimensions of power over time. Because men that we treat our society as dead today are not just men that carry power, but men that have the dimensions of his power. I will waste my time telling you what is Kratos, what is Dunamis, what is Isis, what is Enasia, if you don't understand how to give them expression. And until you join me with God to the glory of heaven, God cannot permit you to partake of the overshadowing of the Picasso or allow you to partake of an Akasso. Neither can he allow you to partake of his Akasso. Because the glory of God is what God does not take for granted. God can give anybody power. But God can never share his glory with men that is not willing and sure that they are total devotion and surrender is on him. Anytime a man begins to sin, he begins to lose the glory. That is why one of the greatest, the most test to test any man is to check the level of the glory in his life. Because that one, by default, it can be instantaneously taken away. A man can fall and see the power of God as he will be there. But a man can fall, if he falls today, you know he will never be there. When you come, it will be you. The man upon the time where you like to dwell with, and now you come and you are just angry. Something has left you. And that is why wise men cry that you take not to me. There is something of God that the don't want you to be taken away. Why? Because when the glory of the Lord leaves a man, a vacuum is created. When that vacuum is created, the glory of the devil comes. And that is why when many men left the presence of God, today they are singing that a man and whiskey. It is the same kind of manifestation, but one that will overshadow you of another spirit. You want power for what? You want to, if you can talk about the hostage. How many enemies do you have killed today? You now see why you God will allow you to pray for so long so that you will not meet those who are impatient and desire. Because the glory of God can only be unlocked to a man when he gets to the fight for the other places. And that's why anytime you are approaching the realms of glory, 
is get to defy on a daily basis. And whether you like it or not, God must have given a lot of your intention before He actually released that to you. Elijah, that Isaiah was a prophet, he prophesied for so long. When the glory came, he could not prophesy again. He began to weep and cry. My brothers, power is good. And don't joke, we have power. I want you to understand that you destroy you if you don't know that you also need to ensure that the administration of power comes from the glory. Jesus Christ could do many things from the power he had, but he was willing to go through and die. Why? There was a glory he was looking for. I need to understand that in the days when glory is measured with power, many men choose glory and they get their power because with power, with glory comes power. There was another dimension of God called the dimension of wisdom. That one comes from knowledge. Can you rise on your feet as you pray one as my friend calls? You will receive power. When Jesus Christ told them that, it looks like a lie because they didn't receive the power. Do you realize that? Oh, I yet shall receive power. After the Holy Ghost will come, it came. And their life looked like a lie until they went and died and died. In the same way that your life may look like a lie now, but please dwell. Don't be in the rush, I saw you dwell. When you dwell for a while, delete all the carnal things in your food, delete them. Get dwell with the Lord. I'm assuring you. I'm assuring you. This is not something that don't deceive yourself. God can do something to your lips. He can do something to your heart. He can do something to you and it will surprise you. Pray and ask the Lord to help you. You don't like my sermon, I told you. Pray and ask the Lord to help you. Instructed, I'm not guiding, I'm not direction. You want the power for what? 